Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Emotional evidence. The murder trial of Michaela McAreevy has heard harrowing testimony from her husband for the first time. John McAreevy broke down in the Mauritius courtroom, describing the moment he found his wife dead in their hotel room. Appearing as a witness for the prosecution, he said Michaela was cold when he found her and that he tried desperately to revive her. The two men on trial, Sanjeep Mane and Avanish Trebuun, both deny murdering the 27-year-old newlywed. Crunch time. Over 116,000 students took to exam halls around the country this morning to sit the first papers of the Leaving and Junior Cert exams. English was the subject du jour. For many doing the Leaving Cert, there's now a break before taking on paper two tomorrow morning. But those unlucky home economics students will have to be back at their desks in just under an hour. The Education Minister's thoughts are with those sitting exams. The brain is an incredible search engine. Uh, if you give it time, to actually go looking for what you're looking at when you get an exam paper. And all I can say to young people contemplating the exam, they've done their mocks, they know more or less what's expected of them. Not to panic. Disgusting deliveries. Packages containing a human foot and hand have been discovered at two schools in Vancouver. It's thought this could be the latest gruesome twist in the case of Canadian porn actor Luca Rocco Magnotta. He's suspected of killing and dismembering his former lover. Police said they can't immediately confirm if the body parts were the missing extremities of Chinese student Jun Lin, but similar packages were found last week. Magnotta was caught in Berlin on Monday after evading police for days while he partied in Paris. The Olympic torch has completed its tour of Dublin. It crossed the border at 6.30am this morning when it passed from boxers Wayne McCullough to Michael Carruth. President Higgins welcomed the flame at a ceremony in Hoth before it travelled to some of the city's famous sites, including a stop at Crow Park. Jedward were among the specially selected torchbearers and the relay ended when Sonia O'Sullivan lit the Olympic cauldron in St Stephen's Green. And a spectacle in the sky. If you were up early this morning, you may just have caught sight of this. It's the planet Venus making a rare passage in front of the sun. You can just see a faint orange dot. And then there's a, um, like a little black dot on it. For the serious astronomer, the transit is a chance to make observations and measurements of distances, like the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The next time the planet comes between us and the Sun will be in 2117. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, some dinner guests can be so picky or peckish. At number four, working on the road often requires power naps. At number three, no one's above arguing over a parking ticket. I hate the, the parking. I got a ticket on my car. The, the, the bag was sitting on the dashboard. At number two, the game that's guaranteed to have someone in tears. Usually the cat. And number one today, one pianist juggled his bald skills very well. <laughs> Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sports. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.